Hello and welcome to the step-by-step -step guide on how to set up SickBeard with SAB NZBD. This is a three-part video series and I'll be taking you through the setup of SAB NZBD, SickBeard and a little bit of extra by setting up Plex Media Server and the Plex Home Theater System. So just a little bit of intro, what is SAB NZBD? Uh, SAB NZBD is uh, really like your advanced download manager that will actually download the episode from the news group server sickbeard is the application that checks whether your latest episode of game of thrones is available and then sends that to sab nzbd for downloading uh, the plex media server that indexes uh, and updates the library um, of all of your tv shows and movies and downloads metadata and posters and all of that and then the Plex home theater that is what you actually watch on your television set so without further ado let's get to it okay so the f so let's first start with the tools that we'll need first you'll need the SAB NZBD go to SAB NZBD.org forward slash download and download the Windows installer. You will also need the Sigbeard binaries. Download the Windows installer at sigbeard.com forward slash downloads.html. And here are all the download links. Then you will also need the Plex downloads. You can get that at https plex.tv forward slash downloads the media center is you'll click on computer and download the English version and then for the Plex home theater click on download and download the English version there so I've already downloaded these files and you can see them here so the first thing that you'll want to do is you want to install the SAB. Click OK. Agree. Run that startup and associate. Next. Click on next. You'll see the installation is pretty easy and pretty quick. Click on finish. Okay, so once the application has installed you will find a an icon on your desktop called SAB NZBD. Execute that and that will run the web application. Once the web application is running, navigate to your favorite browser and go to localhost port 8080 forward slash wizard. Select English and then let's start the wizard. Okay, so the first thing that you'll need is you'll need your news site. So that you will get from your ISP. And the default port is always port 119. Depending on what, your, what the ISP gives you, you can sp insert a username and password. Some some ISPs offer SSL, some don't, and they'll also tell you the number of concurrent connections. So for most of the free ones, the concurrent connections are two. Okay, and for so this, so, so the host and the port, you will get the, that information from your ISP. So in sum, so in summary, if you're in South, in South Africa, where I'm from and most of us is on the telecom network you'll use the following hosts on ATA news.telcomsa.net for ADSL use the following there's also one called oh wait actually this one correction this one is actually news2 and that you'll use as a backup ah damn it it's actually that's the correct one Okay, all of them are on port 119. No username and password is, re is required. 
two connections and no no SSL. If you are a South Africa and an international user, there is a free site where you can actually use free.xcnet.com. A username and password is required, and you will you will get that by registering on their website at the location there. They use port 119, two connections, and no SSL as well. So, I've already registered, and I've got my username and password here somewhere. Also, after you've registered, they will send you an email that will look similar to the one that I've received. There you will get all the links with your username and your password. You'll see here. Uh, that is the host name that you will use and this is your username and password that has been given by them that is free for life uh, it does limit you to a one megabyte connection but it's excellent as a backup for when your ISP is having some issues okay so I'm gonna use my free account that I've set up and registered for this de for this demonstration. And remember, this is the password that they would have emailed you. And once you've done, click on test server, and then and then what you do want to see is a con connection successful. Okay, so once that is done, you know that you can connect to your new server and you click on next. This is the username and password that you will use for you for accessing the SabNZB site. Make sure that you always select password protect and you give it a, a username. I'm just going to call it uh, Sab Admin. Give it a test password there. Okay, and I always use HTTPS, but you can decide whether you want to use HTTPS or not. So I usually just select that, and then launch the internet browser when it opens and starts. Click on next. Okay, so this is uh, the API. So this is the API key that you will get from OzNZB. You'll need this for later parts of the d of the uh, video. It's a free site, so go ahead and register. Went to go and register me a free account. I enabled it, so we need this site API key. So I've already registered and logged in. So you click. So once you've logged in, click on your username and click on profile. And then you are looking for this API key, yeah. So this is what you are looking for. You are looking for this little key, yeah. That's the one. That's the one. Okay, so you copy and paste that into here. And you click on next. It's as simple as that. And that will restart the application for you. So once it's done restarting, it will give you a link. And this is and this will be the link to your new installation. You can simply just copy and paste that in there. And you can see it's the it's the HTTPS link and the default port is port 9090. So let's go there, press enter. Okay, and this is your password that you've set up, so admin, and then your test password. Now let's just go and remember that to make it easier. And there you go. This is the interface. You've now successfully set up the Sab NZBD to download from the free Usenet news groups. So a quick walkabout, if you click on options, that's where you get the options to restart or shut down the application. If you click on config, 
this is where you'll get all of your configs if you click on server this is where you've set up your free site if you click on test server again you should get a connection successful you can click on there and that's to go back home and then for the last part of the sub entity setup I'm going to be testing the installation and if everything is working so so we're going to be downloading a test nzb file and then just to see if our installation actually downloads it so I've gone to OZ NZB, I've logged in I'm just going to select the um, any new ones so you can choose of any of the latest ones click on download NZB let's choose this one and then I'm gonna just open that up with my application which is the default and once that's downloaded if you look here it should pop up as soon as it's downloaded uh, there we go so there you can see it's starting to download if you click on status it will actually show you that you are connected to the free server it's enabled and there's your two connections you click on back to downloads and there it is you can also click on it and that will show you all the parts that it's actually busy downloading okay so we don't actually want to download this now so I'm just gonna go and click on delete and that will remove it actually once it's done it will move it down to the history let's do that and for the next part let's move on to the sick beard okay so I've already downloaded installation files and I'm just going to extract it I feel using 7-zip is always the easiest let's do extract to yeah There is these your files. I'm just gonna put that into a much simpler. Let's just do that. So cut. Create a new folder. I'm calling it sick beard. Pasting them in there. Then you want to take your sickbeard.exe file and you want to create a shortcut. And then you can just place that shortcut in your startup. And then you can double queue it and execute it. And that will open up the site with your default web browser. Or you can just navigate to localhost port. 8081 which is their default port and that's the end of the part one of this of the series you've learned how to install sab nzbd how to install sickbeard how to test your installation you got registered on oz nzbd and you also got registered on xasinet.com for your lifetime free newsnet group so thank you for watching and please go on to part two